so welcome back to our online bridging course so this time we will be discussing about lesson 6 rational expression as part of this lesson we'll be discussing about the domain of an algebraic expression so let me read this first the set of real numbers for which an algebraic expression is defined is the domain of the expression Two algebraic expressions are equivalent if they have the same domain and yield the same values for all numbers in their domain. Okay, what does that mean? When we say domain, to make this long definition short, domain is simply all the possible values in the real number line that we could substitute to an, equation, to an expression that will yield another value in the real number line okay for example we have this x plus 1 plus x plus 2 okay so the domain of this expressions expression are all real numbers okay because we can substitute any real number for x and that will yield another real number okay so any real number could be substituted here and it is said that if two um, two algebraic expressions are equivalent that means they yield the same the same values for a particular domain for a domain for example if we have this expression and also this expression so this expression and this expression are the same because actually this is just a simplification of this expression as illustrated here they are the same because whatever uh, domain or whatever value of x you substitute here the same as here, these two expressions will yield the same value. For example, if you substitute here 1, so that would be 2 plus 3. The result is 5. So same um, if you substitute 1 here, that would be 2 plus 3. The result is 5. Okay, so domain is the value for x that could be substituted to, upper, um, to an expression. To illustrate that, let us try this one finding the domain of the algebraic expression. So let us call this our problem um, for lesson six, first problem. So finding the domain of an algebraic expression. So again, domain is any value that we could substitute for x that will yield a value that, that also belongs in the real number plane or the real number line. Okay, for example, the domain of this polynomial. So, as it appears, we could substitute any polynomial here. I mean, any expression here. We could substitute any expression here. Um, it could be any number in the real number line. We could substitute. So, the domain here, so we, we can describe the domain as all real numbers. So, all real numbers. Any real numbers could be substituted here. So in contrast, you look at letter B. For letter B, what would be the domain of this expression? First off, uh, let us notice that this is a radical expression, meaning we need to get the square root of this particular value inside. So we know that we cannot extract the square root of a negative number. So therefore, this value inside the radical or the square root sign could not, should not be negative. So if x is equal to 2, the result is 0 here. So square root of 0 is still 0. But if x is less than 2, say for example 1.5, that would be square root of negative 0 0.5, which is less than or which is a negative number. So this cannot be extracted anymore. Okay? So therefore, our domain here are all real numbers greater or equal sorry to 2 okay so these are all the values of x are all real numbers greater than or equal to 2 because if you substitute a number less than 2 that will give us a negative 
value inside the, the square root and we cannot extract the square root of a negative number that is not a real number anymore so that is the domain of this particular um, expression so for letter C how about this the domain of the expression x plus 2 over x minus 3 for this particular expression you notice that the denominator is x minus 3 okay this value could be negative that is still um, that is still part of the real number plane but this cannot be um, equal to an undefined value okay so if you notice we um, the value of the denominator could not be zero because a number cannot be divided by zero okay or, or the num a number divided by zero is equal to an undefined value okay so therefore x cannot be equal to 3 because the denominator cannot be equal to 0 so the domain here is all va uh, all real numbers except 3 okay so x cannot be equal to 3 so that is the description of the domain now proceed to our next example so let's try this one okay let's try this one uh, simplifying a rational expression so we have to call this or let's call this problem number six dash two meaning kaduhan ex na example for lesson six so write this expression x squared plus 4x minus 12 all over 3x minus 6 in simplest form so notice first that the denominator of the given expression is 3x minus 6 that means x cannot be equal to 2 because if x is equal to 2 this would this um, denominator will become 6 of minus 6 which is 0 then denominator cannot be equal to 0 okay so let's note that now to express this in simplest form let us first get the factor or let us factor out first the numerator so factoring the numerator will have again the first term for each binomial would be x times x now or x because x times x is x squared Manidire, okay? Or yun yung expression, dun, uh, yun, yun yung first term. So, how about the next term? So, we, we'll take a look at the um, the, uh, the constant term of the uh, trinomial and the numerator. So, it's negative 12. So, what factors of negative 12 will yield this value when you add them? Okay? So that would be positive and negative value. So let's just write here x plus and x minus. Okay, so what factors could we use that would yield negative 12? Or what numbers uh, would we multiply that will yield negative 12? And if we add them, that will yield 4. So let's say negative 6 and 2. Okay, so this would become negative 12, but positive 2 minus 6 is negative 4 which is not this so therefore this could be or this must be 6 and this must be 2 because 6 times negative 2 is negative 12 and 6 minus 2 is positive 4 so if you check this by foil uh, times 6 x minus 2 that will be x squared plus 6 x minus 2 x minus 12. So the result is this. Ah, sorry. The result is this. Okay. How about the denominator? So for the denominator, we could factor out 3 because that's common. Fa that's a common factor for 3x and negative 6. So if you factor out 3, this would become x minus 2. Okay. So if you notice, we could now cancel out these terms because common to numerator denominator, this would become 1. So there's, therefore, this expression would become x plus 6 over 3. This is not the simplest form. But wait, there's more. x should not be equal to 2. Let us just describe that, that domain. Although this is um, apparently ito, all real numbers. But remember that we arrived at this value, or sorry, this simple expression from this rational expression. So, eto siya is galing dito. So, eto siya may restriction, di ba? Na bawal sa kanya ang 2. So, dapat, dahil eto galing dito, bawal din sa kanya yung 2. Anong ibig sabihin ni 2? <laughs> Sorry. 
So how about if we take a look at the graph of this function? So my jump have an explanation because I want to explain this more in detail. So my graph tayo. So let us first graph the first expression. So we have x squared plus 4x minus 12. Yeah. Over 3x minus 6. So that um uh, the sorry the graph of the function is just a straight line okay so if we graph our simple terms or uh, the, the simplified form of this function that is the same line actually okay diba x sorry diba x minus uh, is it plus 6 x plus 6 over 3 that is actually the same line tingnan nyo Naging blue lang siya, di ba? Oh. Oh, that is the red graph for, for the first equation. So, kung isuperimpose or ipatong natin yung second equation, that is the same, the same graph actually. Pero, for the first expression actually, kung titingnan nyo, meron siyang restriction that x cannot be equal to 2, right? So, therefore, dito sa part na x is equal to 2, so, part na x is equal to 2, meron siyang maliit na skip. Pero, syempre sa itong graph na to, di na, kahit i-zoom in natin kasi sobrang-sobrang close nung skip na yon, nung jump na yun. ba? What I mean is, meron tayong value that is very close to 2, but it cannot be equal to 2. Because x cannot be equal to 2. For example, what I mean is, X can be 1.9999999999999 but X cannot be equal to 2. Okay? X can also be 2.0000000001 but it cannot be equal to 2. Okay? So dito sa graph, kung i-zoom in natin siya, halos di siya, hindi na siya makikita yung butas pero actually may butas siya dyan. May discontinuity siya dyan. Nag-jump siya dyan or nag-skip siya dyan. So you will learn and understand that more when we discuss about or we proceed to calculus pag first year sa first sem first year first sem ninyo okay so that is our first example so simply lang no we just simplify the expression but actually the the tail the tail about the expression or the tail behind the expression is uh, more fascinating okay let us try another example or our next example about this one uh, this is very similar to the first so or to the previous problem that's problem 6-3 write this expression in simplest form okay so again all we need to do is to factor this out okay so how do we factor this out so the first factor of the numerator so how do we do this what factors of 12 that will yield 2 ito dito but remember na naka minus na siya dito no so meaning yung third uh, yung 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 last term ng binomial is a uh, will a uh, result to negative x squared so that would be negative x and positive x so therefore we are sure na eto siya is a negative x sorry times plus x dito but we don't know the first term ganyan yung pagkasulat natin because nahuli yung ano yung x squared dito. So, anyway. Ayan. So, what number would we substitute? So, let's try 4 and 3, right? Magkadakit lang yung 4 and 3. So, how about yung 4 and 3 dito? So, i-try lang natin. If you have 4 minus x, sorry, if you have 4 minus x times 3 plus x, so that would be 12 minus 3x plus 4x minus x squared. So the result is 12 plus x minus x squared. So, correct na siya. Okay? So, tingnan natin yung sa ilalim. Sa ilalim, if we try to look at the um, the denominator, wala na siyang common factor, right? So, i-multiply na lang natin siya. Or i-factor out na lang natin siya. So, the first terms of the binomial is 2x and x because 2x times x would yield 2x squared. How about dito? Okay. So another 
mga factors of 2 na naman. Pero medyo complicated siya kasi, kasi we need to multiply yung isa by 4, di ba? If we, if we do foil now. So, pwede tayo naman mag trial and error. I think by now, with the previous lesson, with the exercises in the previous lesson, medyo na master nyo na yung pag simplify nito. Okay? So, how about if we try here what? If we try here, um, uh, let's say, positive 4. Oh, sorry. Minus 4 kaya. Minus 4 and plus 1. Minus 1. Okay, let's try. 2x minus 1. x minus 4. So, 2x squared. So, minus x. So, di siya pwede. Ah, pwede. Minus 8 x plus 4. So, pwede. So, ito na yun. So, this is now the, the factor of the expression. Okay? Pwede, actually, pwede din tayong gumamit ng calculator nito to make the uh, factoring um, faster but much better if we do it manually. So, saka na yung calculator. When we already master the, con the, uh, the concept. Okay. If you look at now these two factors, so wala naman tayong makakancel yet. But if you look at the numerator, nahuli yung x dito sa mga sa dalawang factor. Pero ito, we could see na medyo ano siya, medyo hawig siya. No? So we could rewrite the numerator as and ito, we could factor out the negative sign dito. So that would be 4 divided by negative 1. So, that would be negative 4. And, eto, if you factor out negative dito, magiging plus na siya. Or, negative x divided by negative 1. So, that would be positive x. So, eto siya, 3 plus x over the same. So, let me copy this na lang para di na ako magsulat. Pero, ganun pa rin. Ayan. O, eto. So, ito siya, pareho na sila, diba? Let me rewrite this further. So, negative x minus 4 na siya. Change ko lang that a commutative property of, adi, um, of addition, diba? Binaliktad lang. Times, ito, I could rewrite this as x plus 3, diba? Divided by, sa denominator, that's 2x minus 1 times x minus 4. So, we could now cancel out this. Okay, so cancel this out. So this becomes negative x plus 3 divided by 2x minus 1. Okay, so this is now the simple form, the simpler form, simplest form. So ilagay natin sa gitna yung negative. Okay, now remember that this is the simple term of this one. Or in factored form, this one. So, we could look at the restrictions of the domains here. Look at the denominator. So, that means x are all real numbers except, oh, ito na lang muna tingnan natin, except 4. Kasi dito siya pwedeng ma-0. As well as this, dito siya pwedeng ma-0. So, therefore, dito pwedeng maging 1 half because 2 times 1 half, that would be 1 minus 1 mas 0. So, x cannot be equal to 1 half. So, therefore, the domain uh, the domain of this expression are all real number except for 4 and, uh, and 1 half. Okay? Proceed to our next example. Let's call this problem 6 dash kapila na dash 4. Ayan, pang 4 na ka. At tayo. Okay. So, what do we do when we multiply um, rational expression? So, multiplying a rational expression, that is just simply a over b times c over d. You just multiply the numerator by the numerator and the denominator by the denominator. So, a over b times c over d is just a c over b d. That's simple. So, we need just to multiply this and we need to multiply this. But the uh, best thing we could do here is first get the factors of these expressions or let us simplify this expression by getting its um, complete factorization so let's start with 
let's start factoring 2x squared plus 6 minus 3. So what's a factor of this? I, um, let's try 2x and x array. So let's try negative 3 and positive 2. So mag trial and error muna tayo. So would that yield uh, this expression, original expression? So 2x minus 3, mag foil tayo, plus 2. So that would be this, 2x squared, and this, 3x, then this, which is 4x minus that is negative 6. So that would be 2x squared. So if we add this up, that would be 6. Oh, I mean x and that this would be 6. So correct na yung factor natin. So okay na yan. Divided by. So how about if we change the color of this to this. Okay, let's move this here. Scratch lang naman siya. How about the denominator? So for the denominator, that is a little bit simpler kasi the leading coefficient is 1. Ito. So it's a factor of this. So it's a factor of fa negative 5 that will give positive 4. So that would be um, 5 and negative 1. Okay? So 5 times negative 1 is negative 5 and 5 minus 1 is 4. So that would be it. How about the next? So the next, first we could factor out, we could factor out x. Commons pa sa kanila yung x. So we could take out x. So that becomes uh, x squared minus 3x plus 2. Okay? So factoring this out further, you will notice that pwede pang ma-factor out. Um, 2 is actually negative 1 times negative 2. Okay? And negative 1 plus negative 2 is negative 3. So, pwede pa siya. So, therefore, the complete factorization of this is x minus 1 times x minus 2. So, this would be x times x minus 1 times x minus 2. All over, how about this? How about this? Um, eto, yung common factor dito is 2, right? Kasi yung 40 is divisible by 2 as well as 6. So, common factor in 2 and also x. Paro silang may x. So, we could factor out 2x. So, let's take 2x out. So, if we take 2x out, what will remain here is just 2x and minus what remain here. That would be 3. Okay, to check, we multiply this. The result is this. And if you multiply this, the result is this. Okay. So, ito na yun. If you notice... Since we are just multiplying this by this and this by this, we could actually, pwede lang natin siya idugtong. Uy, pwede lang natin siya idugtong. Nawala na naman. Anyway, sige, pwede natin to siya isang term na lang, isang bar. Tapos, may mga common terms na. So, ito, may mga common factors, what I mean. So, pwede ito, cancel out, tapos, as well as this, cancel this out then. What else? And also x. Pwede ma-cancel out. So, ipang cancel out natin. Let us use this. Ito, cancel, canceled out. Ito, cancelled out. And also, this is cancelled out. So, ano yung nag-remain na lang? Or nang naiwan? So, yung naiwan, hu hu, is x plus 2 times x minus 2. Ito yon Over yung denominator, yung di factor out is yung 2 and x plus 5. So, this would be our answer. So, that would be our answer. But wait, there's more. Again, let's describe the domain. x, wait, let me move this here kasi isa lang siyang commercial. <laughs> Scratch lang natin to. So, eto, dito ka nilang. Yan. So, how do we describe the domain now? So, look at the values na lang sa ilalim. Para uh, di maging 0 yung denominator, this cannot be equal to negative 5, right? So, therefore, x cannot be equal to negative 5. 
What else? What else? Ito, x cannot be also to 1. Uh, cannot be also 1. And x cannot be 0. Because of this. And x cannot be 3 halves. Oh, sorry, yeah, 3 halves. x cannot be 3 halves. Okay. And also x cannot be 3 halves. Ayan. So, medyo takpa na. That would be our answer. Okay, let's now proceed to our next example. Let's try this one. Problem 6-5. Okay, this is our problem 6-5, dividing rational expressions. Okay, remember um, in, our, in our first lesson, or was it the second lesson? Um, the definition of division is just multiplying by the reciprocal. So that means if we, multi uh, if we divide this expression by this expression, we just need to multiply this by the, uh, sorry, we need to multiply this by the reciprocal of this. Okay? Hence, we could rewrite this into x cubed minus 8 over x squared minus 4 times the reciprocal of this one which is x cubed plus 8 over x squared plus 2x plus 4. So that's it. Then all we need to do is to factor that out. So let's factor this out. Madali na lang, no? If you recall the factor of, in our previous lesson again, the factor of a squared minus b squared. Ah, sorry. Mali. a cubed minus b cubed. This is simply a cubed minus b cubed because 8 is actually 2 cubed. Okay? So if we recall a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b. I, I hope you already memorized this. a squared plus ab plus b squared. Okay? So if we follow that, so okay. ng kodigo dito. The factor of a cubed minus b cubed is a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. Okay. With that as our guide, therefore, the factor of a cubed minus 8 is x minus, two, <coughs> x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4. Okay, that's it. I just followed this um, formula, ito. Now, divide that by the denominator. What's the factor of this? If you recall, this is a special product. a squared minus b squared. That is the, uh, the product of a minus b times a plus b, right? In the previous lesson. So, the factor of that is just x plus, oh, sorry, x plus 2 times x minus 2. Okay? Because 4 is 2 squared. Okay, okay. multiplied by, how about this? Again, we have the formula in our previous lesson, x cubed plus b cubed, I mean, a cubed plus b cubed. That would be a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. That's it. So therefore, the factor of this, again, 8 is 2 cubed. The factor of that is just x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 4. Divide that by the denominator. How about this? The denominator. Is this still factorable? The answer is hindi na, di ba? Although wala pa tayong discussion sa quadratic, I think tapos na. Lesson 6 na tayo eh. Parang wala rin. Anyway, um, sa quadratic equation kasi, if this is a quadratic equation, the discrimin uh, determinant, the determinant is uh, sorry, the discriminant, iba yung determinant. <laughs> the discriminant is a negative value because b uh, b squared minus 4ac would become negative. So that would be uh, 4 minus 4 times 1 times c, which is okay. That would become negative. Anyway, this has no factor. You cannot factor that out. So, that would be x squared plus 2x plus 4, which is actually the same as this. 
So, eto pala, mga cancel out na lang yan. Diba? At eto din, mga cancel out din to. Yun. So, yung may iwan na lang, eto, sorry, eto, mga cancel out. Oh, eto din, oh, mga cancel out. Tapos, eto, mga cancel out. So, yung may iwan is, eto na lang pala. Ang x squared minus 2x plus 4. Siya na lang may iwan. So, let us describe now the domain x cannot be equal to okay take a look at this dito kasi any real number could be substituted pero dito there are values that will make this zero okay which is negative 2 and 2 diba so if you substitute negative 2 eto mas zero to siya if you substitute 2 eto mas zero to siya so therefore x cannot be equal to either positive or negative to our next example let's take this one as our problem six sixth problem let's call this problem six dash six subtract uh, subtracting rational expressions okay how do we subtract rational expressions so in the previous lesson um, we talked about the LCD method okay we just take the LCD of the denominator, and then we'll use that as the denominator of um, the, the difference, okay? That means if we have A over B plus or minus C over D, that is equal to the LCD of the denominator or the least common denominators, that would be BD, okay? Because BD is a value that could be divided by B and could also be divided by D, okay? So this divided by this is d times a that would be a d sorry that's a d plus or minus this b d divided by d that's b times c that's c or b c that would be c okay anyway isun din na lang natin yung ano yung process i'll just explain how we do at that here so the process is you get the lcd of this okay the lcd of this is just the product of this okay kasi wala naman siyang uh, repeating factor or repeated factors okay so the product of that is just x minus 3 times 3x plus 4 okay then eto i divide natin dito so this divided by this of course ma cancel out yung x minus 3 eto na lang yung na e1 times x so that would be x times 3x plus 4 the operation is minus, so that would be minus, again, this divided by this. So, if this is divided by this, ma-cancel out to. Ito na lang na e1 multiplied by 2. So, that would be 2 times x minus 3. Ganun lang naman. Then, we can now simplify. Okay, simplifying this. Um... Eto, we cannot factor out anything here anymore. So, we'll just combine. So, this would give us 3x squared by substitutive, uh, sorry, distributive property. That would be 3x squared plus 4x minus 2x plus 6. Eto, just multiply it there. Okay, spoon feeding tayo para maintindihan kung beginner pa talaga. So, that would be x minus 3 times 3x plus 4. Okay. Now, simplify natin yung numerator. So, that would be 3x squared. So, let's combine this. That would be 2x. That's plus 2x, then plus 6. And divided by x minus 3 and 3x plus 4. So, the question is, is this still factorable? The answer is, that could no longer be factored. So, yun na siya. Ito na yung answer natin. Okay. This would be our answer. Now, if we describe the domain, you take a look at this. X cannot be equal to 3. And X cannot be equal to 4 thirds. Oh, no. Sorry. It's negative 4 thirds. X cannot be equal to negative 4 thirds. And then, that's it. Okay. So, let's proceed to another example. That would be the seventh problem. Okay, let's try this problem seven. 
Let's call this problem uh, 6-7, <coughs> combining rational expressions, the LCD method. So, similar lang siya dito sa first method natin, but this time, we have this. We have three terms that we need to combine, okay? And they don't have the same denominators. So, when we say LCD again, that means least common denominator. That is a value, or that is, yeah, that is the value that could be divided by all these three denominators, or yeah, could be divided by the by these denominators, okay? The least value. Okay, now let me rewrite this as this. Okay, wait. 3, x minus 1, minus 2 over x, plus x plus 3. Now, this could be factored out as this could be factored out as x plus 1 and x minus 1. So you'll notice that in these three terms, iba-iba yung denominator niya, pero nag-repeat yung x minus 1. Umulit yung x minus 1. Okay? Kasi if we combine these two, we will be tempted na i-multiply lang to natin lahat. So that would be x minus 1 times x times x squared minus 1. But since we are talking about the LCD, since nag-repeat yung isang factor, yung isa lang yung include natin. No? So, yung gagamitin nating denominator or yung LCD natin is just one of these na lang and these two. Okay? So, that would be x minus 1 times x times x plus 1. We don't need to include the other x minus 1. Kasi inulit lang siya. Yun yung tatandaan natin. Again, kasi sabi nga natin kanina, when we say LCD, that is the least number that is divisible by the by all the denominators. Okay? So, if you take a look, this could be divi divided by this. Kasi may makakancel out lang to. And this could be divided by this. Kasi makakancel out lang to. And this is enough to divide this because makakancel out lang yan. Okay? So, yun lang. So, the same process, this divided by this, so that's, yan yung AE1 times 3. So, that would be 3x times x plus 1. The operation is minus, so minus, so this divided by this, ayan, times 2. So, that would be 2 times x minus 1, x plus 1. Plus, okay, let's extend that. This divided by this, x na lang times this, which is x times x plus 3. Okay, then we'll simplify. So, malapit na tayo. Then we'll simplify. So, dito wala tayong ma-factor out kasi wala namang common, common factors yung tatlong terms na yan. Let's just expand. So, 3x squared plus 3x. I'm just, again, distributive property. Minus 2x plus 2. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We need to multiply this first. 2 times... Ito na lang gawin natin, ha? Para, sayang kasi yung space. <clears throat> Ito, if we multiply this, ayusin natin. If we multiply this, that would be x squared minus 1. Diba? That is just um, special product. Okay, special product. Then multiply it by 2. Okay, so that would be negative... Okay, negative 2x squared plus 2. And plus, eto, just simply distribute this. That would be x squared plus 3x. And divide that all by this. x minus 1 times x times x plus 1. Okay, what will happen? We could combine this. That would be 3x squared minus 2x. That's x squared plus x squared, so that's 2x squared. How about this? That would be 6x. And how about this? That would be 2. And divide that by x minus 1 times x, x plus 1. Okay, if you notice again, 
common factor yung 2. We could factor out 2. So if you factor out 2, that would be x squared plus 3x plus 1. All over this again, x minus 1 times x times x plus 1. But wait, there's more. Matatakpan ko na yata. Okay, wait ha. Wala na tayong space. So, we cannot factor this out anymore. So, that would be our final answer. This would be our answer. That's it. And again, the domain, if we describe the domain, x cannot be equal to positive and negative 1. And x cannot be equal to 0. Because of the restriction here in the denominator. And that's it. So, we can now proceed to the next problem again. So, next page na tayo. About, if we have this, complex fraction. Let's simplify this complex fraction. Okay. If you look at this fraction, we, let us call this problem, seven, sorry, 6 dash, kapila na, 7 pa lang. Oh no, 8 na pala. Problem 6 dash 8. This is simply, this simply means that this whole expression is divided by this whole expression. Okay? Ganun lang, ganun lang yung ano niya. Ganun lang yung ibig sabihin ng expression na to. Parang pinakomplex lang. Pero, i-simplify lang natin pa kakaintindi. So, all we need to do first is to combine this and also combine this. So, let's do that first. Let's combine the numerator. The LCD for the numerator is x, di ba? Remember that 3 is actually 3 over 1. So, the LCD or the least common denominator of x and 1 is x. So, write x here. Again, x divided by x is 1 times 2. That's 2. Minus, operation again, minus x divided by 1 is x times 3. That's 3x. Ayan. Okay? So, ito siya is same as this. Now, the denominator. Let us simplify or combine this expression. Again, 1 is actually 1 over 1. So, the LCD of 1 and x minus 1 is x minus 1. So, write x minus 1 here. Okay? So, x minus 1 divided by 1. The result is x minus 1 times 1. So, that's x minus 1. Let's put a uh, grouping symbol para di tayo ma Ma-confuse mo Pero kahit wala na. Anyway, sige lang. Preference. So, x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 is 1. Multiplied by 1, that's 1. That's it. Okay. Now, let me simplify this further. This is x minus 1 minus 1, so that's x minus 2. So, let me change this to x minus 2. So, by definition of uh, division, division is just multiplying by the radic, uh, the the reciprocal. Okay? So, meaning we need to multiply this by recep the reciprocal of this. Okay? So, that becomes 2, x, uh, 2 minus 3x over x times the reciprocal of this, which is x minus 1 over x minus 2. Okay? And we don't need to simplify any of that. Walang mga cancel out. So, our answer would be x, how about, anahin lang natin to. 2x minus, 2 minus 3x times x minus 1, matatak pa na, divided by x times x minus 2. So, this would be our answer. Very easy. Okay? Now, for our next problem, let's try this one. Medyo complicated, pero kaya din naman. Very easy, walang challenge nito. Okay, combine na natin yung what we learned in the um, lesson about uh, exponents and radicals. Ito, may mga negative exponents na tayo. And we know that um, yung negative exponents, we just uh, move the whole term to 
if it's uh, in the numerator we just move it to the denominator if it's in the denominator we just move it back up to the numerator okay so how do we do this so ito that means nasa denominator siya kasi negative yung exponent niya so we will rewrite that into yung naka raised to negative 3 halves is ito lang hindi kasali yung x so may iwan si x <laughs> iniwan nyo si x yan Okay. Ayan, naiwan si x sa R. So, over 1 minus 2x raised to 3 halves. Ayusin natin. 3 halves. Ayusin na. 3 halves. Plus, eto, this whole term or etong term ang ni raise to negative 1 half. So, yun yung whole term na ilalagay natin. So, walang may iwan sa taas. 1 na lang siya. Over... 1 minus 2x raised to, ah, sorry, positive 1 half na siya, kasi nilipat na. Positive 1 half. Okay? Okay? So, what do we do here? Let's get the LCD. So, what value or the least value that could be divi um, that could divide both? Okay? Okay, the answer is, pareho lang naman siya, magkaiba lang yung, ito, magkapareho siya, magkaiba lang yung exponent. So, yung exponent na may mas greater value, yun yung LCD natin. Diba? For example, if you have the denominator x and the other one is x squared, of course, LCD is x squared. Kasi yung mas malaki yung value. Because yung x squared, kayang i-divide ng x. Kaya din siya i-divide nito. Kasi kung halimbawa, yung sabihin natin yung LCD is, is x, x can be divided by x, but kung x cannot be divided or not enough to be divided by x squared, so, therefore, ito yung LCD natin, sorry. Ito yung LCD natin kasi mas higher yung exponent niya. This is 3 halves, is only 1 half. 3 halves is 1.5, di ba? Ito, this is just 0.5. Okay. Anyway, let us continue. So, I'll take the denominator as x. Oh, sorry, that would be 1 minus 2x raised to 3 halves. That's our LCD. So, this divided by this is 1. Okay, pareho lang sila. Times x, that would be x. Plus... What will happen if this is divided by this? So, same yung ano niya, diba? Um, sa law of exponents, sa uh, division of um, exponential expressions with the same base. Anong gagawin pag the same base? You just need to subtract the exponents, right? If you recall, a raised to m over a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus 1. Oh, sorry, m minus n. So, with this, pareho yung base niya, magkaiba yung exponent. So, you just need to subtract the exponent. So, that would be 3 over 2 minus 1 half, which is equal to 1, right? Remember that 3 over 2 is 1.5 and uh, 1 half is 0 0.5. So, of course, the value is 1. Okay? So, therefore, the answer is this. Uh, the answer of this divided by this is, of course, the same. This raised to 1 times 1. So, that would be 1 minus 2x. Okay? Okay? So, our answer now is x plus 1 minus 2x over 1, oy, 1 minus 2x raised to 3 halves or eto, pwede natin to siya yung, I mean eto. We could combine this, that would be 1 minus x over 1 minus 2x raised to 3 halves. So, that would be our answer. Okay? And there's another way of solving this. Okay. Let us try another solution. Let us check kung pareho. This would be our second solution. So, so second solution, let me just copy first. Okay, let us answer this using another solution. Okay, we can do that by um, factoring. Okay, there's a common factor between these two terms. Of course, ito yung common factor nila, diba? And usually, yung lesser exponent, yun yung ifa-factor out natin, diba? Example, if we have 2x plus 3x squared, Ang if a factor out natin dito is yung x kasi this is x raised to 1, ito x raised to 2, right? 
So, yung lesser than exponent, yun yung ilalabas natin, di ba? X. So, mag magiging 2 plus 3x na lang siya sa loob. So, dito, which one of these has lesser exponent? Again, sa so first lesson natin sa real number line, asan dito yung mas malayo sa 0? Yun yung mas less, di ba? Mas malayo sa 0 to the left. Or yung nasa left, yun yung, yun yung mas lesser natin. So, see, yung negative 1 half nandito. Sa negative 3 halves, nandito na. So, mas less actually sa negative 3 halves. So, ito yung ipa-factor out natin. ba? So, ilalabas natin. Pwedeng lumabas. Ilalabas natin sa si raised to negative 3 halves. So, with this, naiwan na lang si x. Laging lang naiwan si x. Kawawa naman. So, naiwan na lang si x sa loob. Tapos, ito. Kung ilalabas natin sa si raised to negative 3 halves dito, of course, it's the same as we divided this by 1 minus 2x raised to negative 3 halves. Diba? Y yun yung concept ng factoring out, diba? Ito, we just divided, uh, divided this by the factor that we are taking out. That's why na-cancel out lang siya. Si x na e1. So, since if a factor out natin dito, ito, so, we simply divide this by 1 minus 2x raised to negative 3 halves. Yun yung concept doon, ba? So, we just need to divide, I know, to subtract the, the exponents kasi parang na silang base. So, what is negative 1 half minus negative 3 halves? And the answer is positive 1. Tama ba? That's negative 1 half plus 3 halves. The answer is 1. Positive 1. So, yung naiwan dito is 1 minus 2x raised to 1. Right? Kahit hindi na isulat, close natin. Okay? Okay? So, therefore, this would become 1 minus 2x raised to negative 3 halves times eto x plus 1 minus 2x. So, let's work this out. So, x minus... 2x is negative x, so that would be 1 minus x all over, all over. Ito, kasi negative exponent niya, i-transfer natin sa denominator. So this becomes 1 minus 2x raised to 3 halves. And if you notice, we have the same answer here. And these are the same. Okay, so we can solve this in two manners, either by factoring, by just factoring out, or by LCD. Okay, now let's proceed to our last problem. How about if, ah, dito rin, dito pa rin. Ito, medyo challenge din daw, pero hindi naman so masyado siguro. Hindi natin napangalanan, so 8, problem 9 na to. This is problem 6-9, and this is problem 6-10. Uh, rewriting the, the a difference quotient, okay? So, the following expression from calculus is an example of a difference quotient. So, anong gagawin natin dito? We are just simply going to rationalize the numerator. Ngayon lang naman. Okay, by the way, this, um, this expression, we will encounter this in calculus. Um, actually, this is a definition of the derivative. Kung kunin natin yung limits nito, I know, hindi pa kayo makaka-relate sa limits kasi wala ito pa tayo doon. So, let's just continue. So, what we do here, in order to rationalize the numerator, we just multiply this by the conjugate of the numerator in order for us to eliminate the radical signs. We already discussed that in our previous lesson. So, we do this, again, we do that by multiplying this by its conjugate. So, that will be x plus h plus square root of x divided by square root of x plus h plus square root of x. Okay, now, the numerator is a product or, or, or is a special product. So, alam naman natin pag special product, again, pa ulit, -ulit but para talaga matandaan, this is just a squared minus b squared. So, just square this minus the square of this. That's the product of this and this. Okay, let's do that. 
So you square, if you square this, ma-cancel out lang yung square root. That would be x plus h. Lagyan natin ng grouping symbol para di tayo ma-confuse mamaya. So lagyan lang natin ng uh, parenthesis. x plus h, okay, minus the square of square root of x, which is x. Ayan. So divided by h times the square root of x plus h plus square root of x. Ganun. So from here, this is actually x plus h minus x. It just cancel out x. So h na lang na iwan sa numerator. h and sa denominator is h times square root of x plus h plus square root of x. And looking at this, we could cancel out h. So our final answer or the result the result is just 1 over square root of x plus h plus square root of x. And actually, this is um, part of the derivation of the derivative of a square root of a function. Pero we'll discuss that pag uh, dating natin sa calculus. But this is our answer. Very easy, no? So, ito na yung last problem natin, problem number 10, sorry, but 10. <laughs> problem number 10 for this particular topic, you just solve as many as you can sa exercises that will give you. And as much as possible, you need to also master this because these are common, ano, common occurrence, so to speak, sa differential and integral calculus. So, kailangan magaling kayo or na master nyo na yung pag-simplify ng mga rational expressions. So that's it for our lesson. See you again in our next uh, sessions. Thank you.